number to each of the articles in turn. The, norm, the, the dog will normally give it its best attention, but if the handler is in any way dissatisfied or thinks that perhaps something could receive a little bit more attention, then the dog will be tasked. And you'll see the dog responding to that, and he'll go back and revisit and examine again. Thoroughly examined. And of course, in the last case over on the far side there is where we've placed the controlled substance, the thing that we wanted to find. We'll stay a little bit quiet now and see what reaction we have from the dog. There, Dad. Well done. Happy to play the game for us. So what we'll do is we'll just reset that bag so that the people down at the other end of the arena here can see a little bit more closely. We have Scott Wayne now and Buddy. Uh, Buddy is well experienced, an eight-year-old Springer Spaniel. Really proficient at this sort of work, as you might expect. All these dogs, uh, they get initial training and then refresher training thereafter. Uh, probably about uh, one, maybe two days a month, dependent on operational requirements or kind of needs. Um, the dogs are obviously kept up to speed. We'll probably be looking, I would think, for Buddy to maybe do another 12, 18 months and then think about retiring and enjoying life in retirement. But you'll see for the moment, I'm sure that this dog He's still well up for the task. So in similar fashion, very intense, very driven. We choose the spring spaniels because of their ability in this uh, particular area. Um, if we found a dog with similar qualities, we could use any breed, of course. But these dogs are agile, they have great stamina, they're well driven to find, marvellous sense of smell are ideally suited to this type of work. So again, each article being examined very, very closely. Little tail going tent to the dozen. So we're going to simulate a robbery. He's going to get his mobile phone and his credit card and his wallet stolen. And having been relieved of this property, the villain is then going to discard that property around the arena. It clearly has human scent on it. Or the keys they are, okay. And his mobile phone. And in the meantime, the villain is going to secrete himself in his front room, sit nice and quietly, and the weapon that he's used, we'll, we'll see a little bit more of that in a while, he's going to hide in the back of that video, uh, which is sitting on the top of the table. So in the meantime, a little demonstration here by Keith Bennett and the police dog Scar. Keith came out of initial training no more than four weeks ago, so this is a very young, relatively inexperienced dog, uh, and we'll see if the dog find again using his sense of smell the items around the arena. Ah, 
Come on, let's go. these dogs to recover items of property but thereafter what we would like to see ideally is a non-interference indication. Uh, this preserves evidence uh, in the best possible way. Um, if the dog does fetch something back to us then we can tell the scenes of crime people that the dog has slobbered on it and that can be taken out of the equation in terms of DNA testing and all the rest of it. But ideally if these dogs find something they can indicate by a non interference indication, that is the best case. Almost had a little bark out of it. Almost. Yes, there we go. Well done, Scott. So the phone's recovered. Once again, the dog just rewarded with fuss and praise and his ball from the handler. We're going three for three then, Keith. Two down and one more. <coughs> See if you can make it a full house. That one looks a bit tough to me. No, we've got it. He knows he wants to touch it. Well done. Excellent stuff with a very, very young, uh, young dog there. This is Keith's second dog, and uh, I'm sure we'll be making really good use of that out on the streets of the West Midlands Police uh, area. Keith Bennett and Police Dog Scar, thank you very much. So we still have our family in the house here, and we need to recover some property, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to execute our search warrant. Sergeant Pete Watson, we have uh, handler PC Terry Arnett, and search dog Ellie. Ellie we use as a brood bitch with our puppy uh, breeding scheme and uh, albeit that she's only four years old Marvellous sound effects as well albeit that she's only four years old the dog has already produced uh, two litters of puppies and from those two litters we have five working search dogs so uh, all her ability and her temperament is coming through in her offspring and uh, they have been used very, very effectively. So again, very intent, these specialist search dogs, very busy, very energetic, loads of stamina and a marvellous sense of smell, examining everything systematically. If she misses something, the handler must identify it and go back. What have we got there, Lynelli? She's going to destroy the video recorder, I think. We've used the clicker there. I don't know if any of you are into clicker training, but it's just an instant way of telling the dog that yes you're right and you will be rewarded and then the ball is produced by way of reward. So here's the evidence that we need. The firearm is recovered, the nasty man has been arrested and another good job by police constable Terry Arnett and search dog Ellie. Well done. We move on to the big dogs again. Um, but we're going to show you uh, basically a public order situation. Now the dogs, when confronted with a large number of people, aggressive people, people throwing things, uh, the sort of thing that you'll get on a Saturday afternoon down at the football grounds around the area. So here we are as our football fans. I don't know where they've got these uh, shirts from. I don't think they've made much of a football team, but anyway, as football fans, they're not doing a bad job. So they're going to simulate a crowd of disorderly people. And what we need now, as they start playing up, are a couple of experienced police dogs to come and move them on. So here we have Carl Bean and police dogs in. And despite all the distractions, articles being thrown, and as you can see we're using soft plastic bottles so that the dogs will not get hurt. The dog at the end of the lead pushes the crowd back. And then what we'll do is we'll get one of the, uh, one of the crowd to dash forward, test the dog's courage still further, and you'll see the dog responding in an appropriate way.